Are you tired of only seeing boats that can sail in the water? And you want to see something that can conquer both land and sea? Well, today we're going to be building an amphibious boat that is able to sail in the water and it's also able to conquer the land by driving up the beach and driving on the land itself. So, let's go ahead and get to building. There are many ways that this could be built, but I'm thinking either a catamaran or a landing boat style of boat would actually be really good for this. So, let's just start building and see what we can come up with. All right, it might not look the prettiest and it might not be the fastest boat that you'll ever see, but this right here is the hull that we are gonna go for. Uh, it looks kinda ugly, but that's fine. Don't worry about it too much. From here, we're uh, gonna build a bridge slash wheelhouse in the back uh, that is gonna go here. And obviously we're gonna have to add engines and then tracks and stuff like that too. All right, so far we have a very boring boat, but that's okay, cause it's about to get crazy. We're gonna add some tracks to this thing and it's gonna be allowed to drive straight up onto the land. That is at least my goal, hopefully it works. Oh, I didn't think about this. We need some ladders so that we can actually climb up onto this thing. So delete these guys right here, shove that in there. Uh, and I'm gonna delete these guys, shove that onto there, and I'm just gonna do this on the bottom. Obviously, I am gonna need to paint all of these things so that it matches, but that's okay. All right, shove that in there, shove this across here, and do this across there. Beautiful. All right, so for that, we're gonna need a sprocket. I'm gonna shove that guy right there, and we're gonna go to the inside, and obviously delete that so we can get to it. Very nice. We're then just gonna go with medium wheels as we go uh, forwards. And I think that'll be fine, so we'll actually just drop them down by one. There we go. Just keep them going down the sides. That is excellent. All the way to the front, just like that. All right, spawn it in. What does that even look like? Please say this works. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. Okay, so on land, I don't want this thing to be, like, super speedy or anything like that, but we are going to give it two little uh, motors in order for this to work. So, yes, the tracks are going to be electrically powered. Uh, I guess we could actually go for the same power system for everything else. So, let's do it. We might as well. Propellers! Alright, we need propellers right now. So, let's go ahead and grab these guys. Uh, we're gonna chuck them... Oh, I don't want them right next to this. That would be a bad idea. Uh, we're gonna chuck them in right there like that. Okay, let's go ahead and paint around the edges. Make sure they all look fancy and snazzy and lovely. There we go. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and chuck these guys across here like this. I need to do it on both sides though. Oh, that was an accident. All right, uh, grab this, grab that, grab these. All right, cut it, uh, paste it, move it across, do the same right here. All right, cool. Merge that together, merge this together, and then all I need to do is mirror. Okay, right, so uh, obviously we need to bring these guys in. We're gonna go to the pipes, and we're gonna shove some angled pipes in there, obviously bringing it up in. And then we need a power system for these guys. So let's go ahead and chuck this under here, onto there. Chuck this guy under here. I could use the same motors, couldn't I? I could actually just run it all off two motors. That could be interesting. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's actually do that. Um, I, I think it'll be kind of underpowered, but we'll see. So I need to do it this way, though. So it needs to go up. And then across and in. So this guy needs to go, like, up as well, if I can, like this. Here we go. And then we need to attach them all together that way. All right. Uh, okay, hang on. Shove that guy onto there. Shove... Where is it? This guy onto here. Then we can do this. And then we need a gearbox to go on here like this. Okay, that's why I've built it this way. Cool. All right, it's battery time. Let's go ahead and shove in. I want six of these guys. So one, two, three. That means we've got six all together. Does it still float is the question. And the answer is yes, maybe? Yeah, it does. It totally still floats. Not very well, but it, it works. To be honest, I think it would work better if I had moved these forwards a bit. So that's pretty central. That's pretty central. And that's pretty central. So now it should all fit together really well. Okay, the next thing we need is this. So the steering on the boat is actually going to be ran by a microcontroller for tank steering. Okay, but we're not going to just do tank steering on the tracks. We're going to do it on the actual boat itself. So <laughs> we're going to need two of these microcontrollers. Let's just chuck them on the side for now. Uh, one of them is going to control the tracks, and the other one is going to control 
Oh, you know what, actually? Because I've got them all connected together, it'll just run both at the same time, which isn't really what we want. It's not. Also, this is the left motor, not the right motor. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Maybe we can just run them both at the same time? Uh, but maybe not. I have an idea, actually. Uh, I do have an idea. Okay, redesigned it, so we have clutches for both sides. We then have, um, the motors that actually go into both clutches together, depending on what you want. And that's okay. Alright, so now, this should work out fine, uh, with those microcontrollers. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of weird, uh, this situation, but it's fine. So this is gonna be for the, uh, prop clutch. There we go. And then we'll have one for the, um... The track. Tracks clutch. Alright, cool. So, we connect this guy to this one and this one. We then need to connect uh, this one to the inside one and the inside one. And then everything, presumably, should work. Uh, which is very, very strange. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to connect this to these ones as well. And up to here and here. Okay, so we got it crossed over, everything is fine, everything should work, let's get in and drive it about. I guess I want like a speedo as well, so I'm gonna chuck one of those up here. Okay, she bounces around a little bit, but that's alright, that is fine, let's go ahead and jump down, we'll get inside, and we'll see if this thing actually works. Alright, jump up, get in, close the door. Okay, so, to go forwards, uh, we are in the water, so let's go ahead and increase the prop clutch. Push W. Nothing's happening. Ah, we didn't actually have the motors powered up. That's fine. So, prop clutch. There we go. Drive forwards. Yes! Okay, she's going. She's actually moving. This is excellent. Yes. Uh, I don't really have steering right now. Oh, I do. There we go. So, without any uh, rudder, obviously the right ones are working to turn us to the left. And the left ones will work to turn us to the right. It's not like the most efficient thing in the world, but it does work. And I suppose we'll be able to turn in a circle. Okay, let's turn into this. There we go. Increase the tracks clutch. And let's see if we can get out of the water. All right, turn off the prop clutch completely. And we are... And we're driving on the land. This is totally working out fine. Okay, cool. I must admit, uh, we are extremely slow... Uh, when it turns into a, uh, a tracked vehicle. Um, <laughs> this is really, really slow. But it totally works. So I suppose if you wanted like a landing craft type vehicle, then this would do the job. This would actually do the job really well. Because you just have to drive up the beach with the landing craft. That would be awesome. But um, yeah, still very slow. Guys, I've added more generators, more generators, I've added more motors, and now we are actually zooming! I mean, we're not, we're not going particularly fast, uh, and we are slowing all the way down, uh, that is crazy. Tracks really take it out of the motors, don't they? Holy balls! Okay, well, I mean, it works for now, so what I'm gonna do is add some lights to this thing, and see what it looks like from there. Here we go, we got nav lights on the front and the back. We've got some spotlights literally all the way around the top uh, thing. <laughs> it looks pretty dumb, but it provides a decent amount of light. Literally all the way around the craft, which is lovely. So, let's drive it onto the land. Increase this prop and decrease this one, there we go. Oh, the clutch, I should say. And now we drive around on the land just fine. That is beautiful, yes! I'm driving in. I'm driving in off the edge. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. We're back in the water, so we increase the prop clutch, we decrease the tracks clutch, and then we can drive it like a boat. Oh, that is beautiful. Very nice. It's so much faster in the water than it is on land, which is kind of usually the opposite thing in real life uh, with amphibious vehicles. Normally on land, they're a little bit faster than in water. But, um, yeah, interesting. All right, well, I think that is actually where I'm going to leave it today. Thank you guys very much for watching, whatever the heck this was. It was actually a quick build of an amphibious vehicle, and hey, it worked out quite well. We built something that works, and I'm really happy about that. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.